on my Gay Your Nutrition Evangelist here. I put the fun back into being healthy. I empower women to make their health a priority so they can get off the sidelines and back to doing all of the things that bring them joy. Now you may know that May is Mental Health Awareness Month. And so I want to share with you a couple of thoughts today about things that you can do for yourself and things that you can do for your community and the world around you. First thing, and I know you've heard this before, but it is so true, it bears repeating. You have to put the mask on yourself before you can help anybody else. Take some time to see how you're doing. Check in with yourself and see Are my shoulders creeping up by my ears? Is my stress level off the charts? Have I started living in a state of stress so that it's just kind of normal for me? If any of those things resonate with you, take some, take a little bit of time. And, and I, I know that it is hard to do. You may feel like you may not be able to take any time for yourself, even if it's just two minutes and people laugh at me all the time. I say, take two minutes breathe. You may have to lock yourself in the bathroom, scream into a pillow and breathe. You may have to lie down on the floor and breathe. You may have to take a drive and just get away for a couple of minutes. But do that for you because you can't help anybody else until you are on a reasonably stable playing field, right? So that's number one, take care of you. Number two, check in on the folks that are in your community, in your life, that you love, that you care about. Genuinely say, how are you doing? And then pause and wait for an actual answer. And then ask them for an actual answer, not just the, oh, fine, right? Like like I get from my teenager, oh, fine, but a real answer. Because starting those conversations is a great first step. And the third thing that I will share with you uh, about taking care of yourself is that mental wellness starts before you even think it's an issue. And it starts in your body, with your nutrition, with your gut health. There are many studies showing that your gut health is linked to depression and anxiety and your brain health. So circling back to the things that I know super well, take care of what you put into your body. Pay attention to the food you put in, pay attention to the supplements that you put in. Make sure that they are moving you in a positive direction. Take a look for interactions between things that you take and any medications that you take. Um, and, And be your own best advocate. Keep taking steps forward every day, 1% at a time, and it'll make a difference. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, I hope that things are good for you and yours, and if they are not, then please reach out for help. Comment below if you have questions. Tag me so that I see the notifications. And as always, what I hope for you is that you live a life you love without being hungry, feeling deprived, or giving up your glass of wine with dinner if you love the wine. Until next week, ciao.